Right, now to the only all-female team to compete at this year's 24 Hours of Le Mans Racing. Uh, Michelle Gatting is part of the Iron Dames driver lineup, and she joins us live from Emma now. Good afternoon to you, Michelle. You are also the first female in history to win the Ferrari Challenge Championship last year. How much did that change your life after that win? Yeah, first of all, thank you very much for uh, having me on the show today. It's uh, it's really an honor that we get to really promote this special project that it is. Um, for sure, winning the championship last year was uh, was so far my uh, my biggest career moment. Um, and for sure, it, it it proved that what we're doing with this project, promoting women in motorsport, it proves that we are able to win races and uh, also championships. Why then? Okay, why have you done this? Why did you choose motorsport in the first place? Yeah, I mean, it's a question I get quite often. Uh, honestly speaking, it was, a, it was a coincidence that I tried a go-kart when I was seven years old. There was a small go-kart track next to a hotel um, we visited in the south of France. I tried the go-kart and I basically just fell in love with it. Uh, for sure, uh, Back then, we didn't know where where it would take me or how far I would go with it. But uh, you know, today it's it's basically my my whole life. It's uh, it's my job, and uh, you know, I couldn't imagine not being a racing driver today. Yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite in a way it's quite unusual. I've actually done it. I've actually gone around the track at Silverstone in a, an old car. I was rubbish at it, and it was terrifying <laughs> as well. So only knows what goes through your mind. Let's let's talk about this project then a little bit more. The Iron Dames. It's a project led by the entrepreneurs at Deborah Mayer. Is that right? With the aim of supporting women in motorsport. So how special is it to you to be part of that team? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the project itself is it's, it's kind of a very unique project. And to be honest, I'm, I'm very honored to, to, to be a part of this. Um, I mean, Deborah is an amazing person. She has a huge passion for racing, for, for cars. And um, I mean, she's willing to, to help us young women and girls out there. And uh, she has given us opportunities that uh, are, are so absolutely incredible and what she's doing is just it's it's amazing i mean she she has such a passion she has so many amazing goals that she wants to achieve with with this project with the with girls and females in general and uh, i mean this project has been going on for four years now and uh, knowing deborah it will continue for for a while and uh, you know Hopefully, one day, Deborah will be able to say that she was the reason that uh, there will be a female in, in Formula One sooner or later. Yeah, absolutely. Is that the real pinnacle? Is that what you want to achieve? Yeah, I mean, we want to achieve a lot of things, uh, but for sure, you know, we, we just, with this project, we would like to get more female into the sport, first of all, and that starts basically in a go-kart. And then from a go-kart, you go either into Formula cars or into GT cars. And, and basically, we want uh, women and, and young girls to, to be a part of all the categories. It comes from go-kart to motorcycles to, to, uh, to rallying and to, to endurance racing and, and Formula cars. In, in that scenario so so we want the females to be a part of of all the categories that are in in motor racing out there why do you think females might not choose it as as kind of something that they go into it because i've always fancied myself as a as a formula one driver i have to say <laughs> I, i'm quite a safe driver so i'm quite slow so clearly i wouldn't be very good at it but why do you feel that you know some women don't want to go into it or some girls yeah, of course. I mean, for sure, it's a very male-dominated sport. There's no doubt about that. And uh, for sure, you you need to to have the courage because for sure there is a risk uh, doing a sport like this. I mean, we are racing at the very very high speeds, but I'm honestly speaking, there is a risk of doing everything, in my opinion. So I mean, it's um, we are really trying to encourage more girls to take the step into just trying a go kart because in the end of the day most of the people when they get into the go-kart they really love the feeling the sensation of speed and and um i think it's a, a bit scary when you think about the speed because when you think about speed you think about risk but um we just need to kind of change that mindset a bit because today i mean the cars everything is very very safe and um i mean there is a risk in my opinion of doing anything Agree with you on that, certainly. Um, look, this is your second consecutive year driving at Le Mans. Are your expectations much higher this time around? 
Yeah, actually, so it's actually going to be the fourth year for the Iron Dames to participate in 24 Hours of Le Mans. And for sure, I mean, if we look back at our first year in Le Mans and until now, for sure, the expectations are much higher. Um, the first year dra- driving the 24 Hours of Le Mans, you know, the goal was to finish the race, which is quite an achievement in itself. Uh, for sure, this year we are we are aiming high. Uh, we know the race, obviously, it's 24 hours, it's long, uh, a lot of things can happen. But the, the whole crew, uh, Rahel and Sarah and uh, my two teammates and the whole crew behind us, we are so motivated and we know if everything goes in our direction, we can end up doing a very, very good result. How do you prepare for it, you know, in, in terms of the, the fuel that you put in your body? What, what do you do in uh, heading into the Le Mans? Yeah, I mean, with Le Mans, it's a, it's kind of a special preparation because the race is as long as it is. And, you know, uh, the drivers can actually stay in the cars up to four hours in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, Le Mans itself, the track, it's not physically um, hard to drive, but for sure going into the night and going into the morning, it's very, very difficult for the, um, for the mind, for the concentration. So you need to have a, a really good condition and uh, therefore we are doing a lot of endurance training like swimming running biking but for longer periods of time to be able to to keep the concentration for for two three sometimes four hours in a row because that's that's very important what do you do i mean you know if i'm on a motorway and i'm i mean this is this is a track that you're potentially going i was looking at the winners they went around 371 times how do you maintain that focus do you sing songs do you what i mean what do you do to kind of stay on it yeah, I mean, uh, for sure. I mean, uh, in such a race, we are we are not we are never alone, and you would never be able to do such a race alone. You 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 have to imagine we have a whole crew behind us of almost sixty people, and um, we are always in touch with our engineers. We have um, earplugs, so we can always talk with our engineers. Uh, they are talking to us. They're giving us update, basically lap after lap after lap. So this would never be possible to do alone. You have uh, the whole crew motivating you. Uh, especially during times when uh, the race is hard. And that's basically during the night where sometimes, honestly, driving on track, even though there are 63 cars, you feel pretty alone. And um, so therefore, it's very good. We, we have people basically encouraging us and talking us through the whole race. Yeah, you'd have to have that happening all the time, wouldn't you, just to maintain that focus. Look, in terms of what's going on in, in motorsport for women, the W Series obviously doing really well. It had its opening rounds at Miami over the weekend, of course. Uh, Team Jenna's Jamie Chadwick winning both races. And, and now the event is being shown on Sky Sports. How important is that for girls or women to see it if they want to get into motorsport? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I fully support the W Series. You know, I was uh, even uh, almost getting into it myself because it's a huge opportunity for female drivers and just drivers itself. I mean, they are getting to drive a free season in a Formula 3 cars. And right now they are support races of the Formula 1. I mean, it cannot get really much any bigger than that being a driver, but also being a female. And this is exactly... um, a good way to promote women. Um, personally, I think in the end of the day, we should be competing against on the same level as men. And this is why we have chosen the championships that we have chosen, uh, because in the end of the day, we are not that many females. And right now, the best drivers out there are the men that we have to try and beat. So uh, I really support the W Series. And I think it's going into the in a direction where um, we will get a female Formula One driver and uh, the W Series can be a reason for that, but hopefully also the projects that we are having here can can be a reason for that. Michelle, explain the benefits of being a woman driver as opposed to being a male driver, potentially. It's, it's, it's very difficult to explain, honestly speaking, because, you know, I've only tried being myself and, you know, uh, you know, speaking with our engineers who have been working mainly with men and now he's working with women. He says, honestly, the difference, there, there is not a lot of difference. And at the end of the day, the difference between men and women is, I guess it's the same off track, is that you girls are thinking too much. We are overthinking all the situations a little bit. Okay. But in the end, I think... Um, I think we are more calm in the car. For sure, we have temper. We want to win. We are aggressive. But I think we don't have that testosterone like the men. And I think uh, in, in a lot of cases that that benefits us. 
Michelle, what you're basically saying there, really, is that women are better drivers, I think. <laughs> I Absolutely. I hope we can really prove that. Finally, I just want to ask you, because, of course, you drive a Ferrari car and there's this big tussle at the moment. Um, Charles Leclerc doing really well. How impressed have you been with him? And can Ferrari win the, the F1 this season, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Ferrari this year finally has made their comeback, which is amazing to see. I mean, it's something we've been waiting for for quite a while. So definitely this year they will have a chance to win the World Championship. I am, of course, cheering for Ferrari. There's no doubt in that. Um, uh, but deep inside my heart, you know, I have to be honest and say I'm a huge Max Verstappen fan. I, I know him from the past. We've been teammates. So uh, I know that Max and Charles and Carlos and uh, Sergio Perez, uh, they will they will have some good fights for the title this year and uh, may the best win. Yeah, well, good luck to you as well in Le Mans. That's a month to the day, isn't it, Michelle? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.